Hey, many fish. 28th November 2017. And I have done zero prep for this at all. And because I got things to do. And for the first time really that I know of. I woke up with the as clear as day. It Right in my mind. Dark star, black sun. Clear, clear as day. And David Bowie was another thing that just popped into my head right away. And he died last year, 2016, January 10th at 69. And he had just released an album called Black Star. Okay? Now, first thing I do, really, is I look up in my scripture the terms Black Sun and Dark Star. Black Sun reveals two verses one in Song of Solomon, which the context of this is different, but it also comes into play. That's for later, because i got to put this together better, but I have to get this out right now. I don't just have to. And the other verse where we see Black Sun is Revelation 6.12, when he opened the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Okay? Now... I don't, I'm not saying it one thing or another because I just don't know. I just know I was led here to do this. And we look at Dark Star and we get one verse. This to me screams everything we need to know. Second Peter, 119 of all verses. Peter was the one who was crucified upside down, let's not forget. 119 turned around and is 9-11 which is, incidentally, the day on the Jewish calendar, tomorrow the 29th. That's 9-11, okay? We have also a more secure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. I suggest everybody go and read that and if you can try and go back and watch the videos about Peter's crucifixion I mean I do the best I can this stuff comes to me and I just want to share it so I had to I had to share that I just had to um, what does it mean huh? well it could mean so many different things it really could some of the calculations I'm getting from Bowie to specific dates, upside down and backwards, 9-11 is 666 days. Again, we have it's the Jewish 9-11, the 70 years of the Declaration of Israel. And to top it all off, I, I knew this from the other day, but the uh, U2 is doing like this um, giveaway kind of a thing, I guess it is. And tonight, Bono's on Jimmy Kimmel, and tomorrow, they're in New York City. Go figure that one out. Blackout. And they're going to be in New York City tomorrow. I don't know, folks, but this black sun symbolism has just been screaming. And then I have Bowie, black sun, dark star, just Screaming in my head first thing this morning. Let's not forget we had Chris Cornell of Black Hole Sun fame, whom I was not a huge fan. I didn't know his music that well, but I did a uh, video on it because the write-up that I found on him was just mind-blowing. The the satanic, uh, you know, connotations in it and whatnot is just crazy. So I really wanted to get this preliminary one out to you guys before we all start our days here. And I'm going to get back on this as soon as I can because there is something here for sure leading up to tomorrow. November 29th. That's really all I can tell you other than this is the time. If there was ever a time in your life that you needed to seek down into your belly and know that you... Have a soul that yearns to be truly free and safe and secure. Then you need to do it now. 
And the only way is Jesus Christ. Period. And to all my brothers and sisters, full armor, y'all. Full armor. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 